Hello and welcome to this week's Angling Blog. I hope your families are well, you're all staying safe and you've managed to get bankside and get a bend in the rod. And I'd just like to start by thanking everybody for the lovely comments that they left on the blog last week when we talked about what lockdown fishing has been like and how it's been mentally different to the fishing before. Thanks for the support in the comments, it really means a lot and thank you very much. So this week it's been a bit mad, started off by attending a local club water's netting of a water, there to photograph and help out and that will be a video that you'll see on the channel in the coming days where we have a look at what it's like to go on a netting, what's involved, how you do it and see some of them beautiful fish go back into a new water for members to catch. As I said in last week's vlog, it has been mentally tough to go out fishing on the bank and I did something this week that actually turned it all around for me. After that netting, I grabbed the rods and just went fishing. I left the GoPro at home and all the recording equipment and I just grabbed a few bits of tackle and went fishing. As you've seen on screen, I had a fantastic night's fishing, catching plenty of carp and also managed to bag this lovely little tench. Tench fishing is what this week's vlog is all about and the next evening when it had cooled down a bit I headed off to the lovely Grimsditch pool on the Lim Anglers card with the hope of catching a tench. So in stark contrast to the Manic weekend you join me on the picturesque banks of Grimsditch pool on the Lim Anglers card. Before we get into the fishing if you are new around here my name's Danny and every Friday at 6pm we put a new fishing video on the channel and have done for around about the last three years so if you do enjoy the video please leave it a like and subscribe if you are new around here as i say plenty of regular content on the channel so it's sunday evening and as you can see it's been a bit of a manic weekend we're on grimsditch pool and hopefully the aim is to catch a tench so on the side tray we've got some hinders micro pellets and some cheshire particle hemp mixed together we've got some red maggot and a little bit of sweet corn. So the pole we'll be using tonight is the MAP 101 2G series. In the top kit we've got some pink Drenon elastic, we've got two pound one ounce bare pearl on and we've got a 14 by 10 float from Preston Innovations and we've got a bulk of number eight Dinsmore shot, two droppers down to a size 18 Camazan animal hook. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy to begin with. Just going to put in a little bit of bait, as you can see on screen now. Not too much, just enough to attract and get a bite. I'm going to go with a single red maggot on the hook and just read the swim and see how it develops. So the first bite of the evening, a little small roach. And that's normally how you expect it to start. So just going to put a tiny sprinkle of maggots over the top and see how we go so just feed into the bites like I say a tiny bit of maggot in the cad pot it is a lot of them silvers about then the most important thing is you want some bait if the better fish do appear so only a couple maybe four maggots and a sprinkling of the micro pellets and then just go over the top again and all the time just seeing them indications on the back of the lilies and at the front here the most important thing is just not to be impatient you know if the better fish are about sometimes you can just take that bit longer to find the bait you always get them small fish moving straight away And in them first three bites you can see already how the swim can develop. You're getting them small fish and then you you get a rud that's a bit better. With a background like that, how nice is that? Blood red fins, it's upturned lip, it's a beautiful fish. So again, just a tiny amount of bait a few maggots, a few of those micro pellets and a few grains of hemp just enough to attract a few fish and still catch them 
it's all about keeping in tune with the swim you put a load of bait in it's very hard to know when it's gone but little and often you won't go far wrong and I've said it before on the vlog it doesn't matter whether you're fishing the River Severn or you're fishing a small pool like this you will always get an initial reaction to bait going in from the fish in the area and it's very easy to get carried away and because you're getting you know quite a few bites it's very easy to get carried away and think there's a lot of fish in the area the most important thing is just to keep ticking over and not get carried away because it's very easy to go from this to overfeeding it and not getting a bite at all As you can see there, not waiting very long at all now for a response. Getting a bite before we've even had the float settle. So there's definitely a few fish about. sudden the swim went very quiet and the little small fish that we have been getting just stopped the light levels dipped and the floats just buried I think went into our species that we've been targeting And the species that Grim's Ditch Pool is synonymous with, the tench, and proper made up. It's always good when you have a target and you manage to catch it. We'll slip this one back and we'll see if we can pick up any more, but proper made up. And with a few bronze bream in the pool, it's no surprise that you're going to get some skimmers. But in absolutely immaculate condition. Another immaculate little roach. Been great fun. Plenty of bites. And just nice to be sat in such beautiful surroundings. So after losing two, that just one of them i think was a carp because it just went to the left and just couldn't stop it I managed to hook into this one and so far it's playing ball but it has been fun just to see those bubbles come up in the swim and you know you it builds and the bubbles get closer to where you're feeding so lockdown really did affect all our plans didn't it and mine were to fish for tench on Limvale you know trying for those tench in there that go over £10 and lockdown put pay to that so it's been beautiful this evening to come onto Grim's Ditch on the pole set out to try and target tench and so far we've managed to get two not longer the session left now but hopefully we can pick up another one Beautiful fish is the tench. I don't know what this is, it seems like coming in quite 
soft but still pulling the elastic out that's a tiny tiny little tench and look at that perfection in miniature and shows a healthy ecosystem that the tench are breeding well and that's beautiful that so a change over to double maggot does seem to be doing the bites because say we've had three tench five bites i think one of them was a carp but double red maggot does seem to be the bait of choice tonight So last week I talked about how lockdown had affected people mentally and myself. This week made a point, spend time with the family today, that netting yesterday and getting out on the bank yesterday evening without the camera and doing a vlog, yeah, feels good to be back bankside and it just shows the fish don't have to be massive to have fun and tonight most certainly have had fun. And we're a bit lucky with this one because it went a bit dangerous next to the lilies and luckily it looks like a small one <laughs> and that wood pigeon you can hear in the background always reminds me of mornings on the canal with my dad father's day so memories of fishing with my dad are in my mind and we'll definitely have to get him out on the bank at some point we'll get him a license and we'll get him on the blog because it's been too long let's get this lovely fish straight back like the tench bubbles during the session the end just frizzled out and a few roach in the last 20 minutes but nothing like the last hour before that before we get to the final net i would just like to thank Lim angling club for allowing me to use a keep net on the vlog they're not really allowed on the club waters so i appreciate them allowing me to use one to show what fantastic evening sport you can have on this venue it's Grimsditch pool on the limb anglers card i'll put a link to their website in the description below we had plenty of silvers during the session but as you can see on screen now we had those lovely tench those teddy bear eyes green flanks and all them scars down the side of them so what lovely tench those were and it is rather ironic that i feel like i'm getting my mojo back with the fishing excited to get out there wetting a line again and it's rather ironic that it's come with a doctor fish, isn't it? The tench. Hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Tight lines in your own fishing. Thank you so much for the lovely comments that you leave on the vlog. And I'll catch us all next week. Stay safe. Before we go, always remember lads, leave the banks how you found them. You know, beautiful places like this. A ruin sometimes when you come you find tins of sweet corn and all types of rubbish on the peg. So let's look after the banks, look after our waters, and they'll look after us. Stay safe.